Hi everyone, this is Dr. Biba Singh and we are on my show Rhythm of Healing today. And today I have a very special guest with a very important topic that we're going to talk about. Uh, we will be talking to someone who is not only a professional working woman, but also mother to two beautiful children, a wife, and also the founder and president of Project 8P Foundation. So let us welcome Bina Maniarsha. Welcome, Bina. Thanks, Biba, for having me. Thank you so much for being on our show. And thank you for talking about this because it's such an important topic that needs awareness. So without delay, I want to tell my viewers what we're talking about today. <laughs> today we're talking about uh, pediatric neurological disorders. And we are talking about a, an organization called Project 8P Foundation. So um, Bina, tell me a little bit about your journey, how did you start this? What, what is, like, what was your, you know, how did your family go through this special journey and what's it all about? So I feel so lucky. Um, and I didn't always think this, but um, I have two wonderful kids and my younger daughter, Karina, has what's called chromosome 8P disorder. Um, and we didn't know anything about you know, having a child with some differences. And she was born, and we went through this whole diagnostic journey of um, mm -hmm. starting to notice things weren't exactly right. What, what a pediatrician would say, like, is your child rolling over? Mm -hmm. Can your child hold up their head and neck without flopping, right? And so when we realized she wasn't doing all of these things three, four months old mm -hmm. as a little baby, mm -hmm. You have questions, right? And and you're lost, and you're in the dark, and you don't. You're scared. So that was really the beginning of this wonderful journey, but really, really hard. So, asi jo gal karna ke anna di beti karina jado do tin mine di si te tusi notice kitta ke o kai chiza jo am bache us us stage which kar de ne batna ya sir hilana ya Kara hona, o Karina ne kari si. So, to see bod dare ke ki horea, or to see doctor kulge. So, to see S journey the shiruat otokiti. So, then to see the doctor kulge, the Karina de bare, like what did you find out? What was going on with Karina? So, one thing you have to learn is we went to a neurologist, and the neurologist said everything is fine. Subtike. Subtike. And then I still had to trust my gut and say, no, we have to still figure this out. So I, yeah. Mm. And, and I was Googling and I learned that there's something called a geneticist. And this is a doctor who can look in your genes um, and tell you if something is, something is wrong. Um, and so we did that and we had a test done, a blood test. Mm -hmm. And it told us she had this chromosome 8P deletion and duplication. Um, and good luck. <laughs> yes. So basically, I want to viewers to know what exactly is a chromosomal uh, disorder, right? Many people don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. So basically, the uh, body has a lot of cells. We have a lot of cells in the body, right? And which 46 chromosomes on the name, but look at Jordi 23 Jordi on the Nessadi body which to the which Pata Chalda, 30 Akanda color key, 30 height key hoigi, 30 bal kesalagange, carry color they honge, Josie Kenya, Kaya Mabap, the genes ne, yam, Rishadana. So we're made up of these chromosomes. Agar Koevi chromosome to ek na missing a ek Jorda just like Jutiana Jorda, ek nee, ya ek jada, they ode which difference aiga. Yeah. body which like so you'll be different right and that's what we will call a chromosomal disorder mm -hmm. um so chromosome 8p mm -hmm. disorder is one of these disorders mm -hmm. right yeah and um Bina, tell us ke chromosome 8p the key nishania like what are some of the uh symptoms somebody who has chromosome 8p disorder would have so uh, there there's a big range um and from mild to pretty severe uh, cognitive impairment um, and what's called developmental delays. So they may not walk, 
They, they may walk later in life. Um, they may not talk. They may talk later in life. Mm -hmm. um, so a big range. And, and one of the biggest things where they get diagnosed is they have a, a difference in their heart. So it's a congenital heart mm -hmm. disorder. Half of them have seizures. Okay. 40% right now we're learning have autism. Okay. So somewhere on the spectrum. Um, they're loving. They're socially and emotionally so connected with people. Which is so great. It's, it's just such a gift. And, um, you know, they need our help. So this is where I realize that we, we can't accept when doctors tell us, do the best you can, you know, and come up, come with us with an update. And, you know, I thought, that's just not good enough. We have to do something about it. So is there a cure? Yeah, so it's a great question. Um, there's no cure. Mm -hmm. There is no standard of care. Uh, you can go to a doctor and they don't know even what to tell you of what to expect. Um, my question of what, what happens when she gets older, when she's 13, when she's 20, uh, they don't have these answers right now. And this led me to thinking about, okay, how can I help her today? Mm -hmm. So one of the biggest things is, um, you know, you have physical therapy. You help to get stronger. You help to walk. You do exercise, um, speech therapy, uh, feeding therapy, right? Um, can I put food in? Can she think about getting the food and putting it in her mouth? Mm -hmm. And music therapy is a big, wow, uh, just an amazing thing because... Um, Music is magical for all of us. Exactly. For it's all so of us. It's so healing. Rhythm of healing. Yes, Music, yes. medicine. And, and often with a lot of the kiddos, um, you know, I see it with Karina that when there's music, she wants to move her body. She wants to sit up. She's, she knows how to walk properly. She c wants to speak and say something, even if it's like a tali apo, you know. And, and so um, that's wonderful. And then beyond that is really um, trying to fund research and create an organization. And I have so much to ask you about that as well. Mm -hmm. But before I ask you that, so we talk about genetic disorder. So most people, we think that genetic disorder means that it's not going to be a child or it's going but it's inherited or someone must have had this problem. Yeah. So is that true? No, and I thought the same thing. Um, right. And... You know, and it's natural to think the same thing. It's genetic. You think I inherited it. 99% um, of the cases are um, this technical term called de novo. So it means it happens spontaneously. You have no reason as to why it happened. <laughs> but something went wrong. Um, it has nothing to do with the mother or the father. Um, you know, I, I, I've blamed myself for sure. And you go through that uh, feeling. And... And I'm pretty confident of the science that it has nothing to do with us. Um, I don't want anyone to ever think that. Um, so, yeah. of course, you know, you test and you check. Did something happen? It could be, there could be a something inherited or carried. It's never anyone's fault. Um, and, and I think that, you know, honestly, with Karina, hers is spontaneous. Mm -hmm. But regardless... Right, we're not here to... T right. She... She's such a gift, and she's a gift to so many. Anytime she sees somebody, she touches their heart, and that, that's that's pure love. So, yeah. you know, I just want to tell you, like, you know, it's not easy to go through all of this, and um, I, I just, I truly, genuinely feel so lucky. That's amazing. <laughs> what I think is so important to, I had so many things going through my mind when you were talking. So a couple of things that I wanted to mention is like when a kid is born with a difference, right? Sade community which log chupana chandene. They don't want to get help. If the kid is different or they have any kind of disorder or disability or they're, you know, uh log etchies no chupandene, galbat naker de onanu lagdaike, it might be embarrassing or it might be, you know, like a something that they should be ashamed of. But I think what's so important, Bina, is to be upfront and gain knowledge and help, right? Yeah. And yeah. that's what you're doing. Yes, and, and I encourage people to do that. And I, What do you tell our community who's watching? I feel um, that I just, you're not alone. Um, 
all of these questions and the, the fear, it, I had the same experience. But once I got past that, I realized that I have to understand why this is happening and do that genetic test. I have to understand what we can do. And, and with that knowledge, I have so much power and I can help the community. Mm -hmm. I can help people um, that have this because, and, and the children or your loved ones are, benefit from that knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Because now we, we, we have one little more clue, clue closer to the right. solution. One so, little more piece mm -hmm. of the puzzle. I have so much more to ask you about this <laughs> after a quick break. But before I go to break, I want to tell you we have a sur another surprise guest joining us. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back to our show. And let me introduce our special guest, Karina. Hi, Karina. Want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, Bina, as we were talking about uh, this very important topic. I am so happy and thank you to bring Karina here so our viewers can see this beautiful, beautiful little girl. Mm -hmm. So, um, asi aj bina na galbat karenya chromosome 8p disorder de bare. Our ad journey bina di shuru hoi si jado onu pata chalya ke di bohat pyari beti Karina nu 8p disorder hai. So, we have a lot of people who are in the community, community which is not awareness that we have a lot of people who are in the community. And we have a lot of people who are in the community. We have a lot of people who are in the community. We have a lot of people who are in the community. We have a lot of people who are in the community. So, even though it's a genetic disorder, it doesn't mean that it's from the mother or father's genes. It is random. It doesn't mean that it's from the mother or father's genes. It is random. Uh, so, Pina, is that right? Yes. What I just said? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Is that right, Karina? Yeah. So, um, we were talking about the people affected. Mm -hmm. How many people in the world have this? Yeah, so when we first got diagnosed, Karina was eight, nine months old, and mm -hmm. um, the doctors had told us, like, we don't really know and met anybody. They did a little research and realized maybe 20, 25 families in the world may have had this. That's it? That's it. And uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so then, you know, I just accepted it. But when I realized that we have to do something more than just accept, right, right. this, we need to start questioning um, because Doctors themselves don't necessarily know every answer. Of course not. Right, we're all on a quest. You're on a quest as yes. a physician. And so um, I, I started researching and I found about 500 families around the world. Um, pretty Panso. quickly. Panso. So you thought that there were 25 but Panso in the world. So there were more people. Yes. And, and more, I think, because in many countries like India too, you know, genetic testing is not... Uh, you know, generally asked for by doctors, um, people, pay, you know, yourself don't know to ask for this test. The it's expensive sometimes, depending on where you are and what country. So, um, I'm sure and I'm certain there are many, many more people, not only with the chromosomal disorder, mm -hmm. um, but you know that need help. And so hmm. that's really the mission. Hi, Greena. <laughs> so, um, I want you to tell us. To see, uh, grow, uh, you are the founder and president of Project 8P Foundation. So, no, Ed, that's okay. A foundation, Kia. What is this foundation about? What do you do? Yeah. Um, how can people learn about it? You know, what can people do to help? <laughs> There's a lot of questions. In a lot that. of questions. Um, so, Project 8P Foundation's mission is to um, accelerate and fund research um, on a uh, path to treatment um, and to unite the community that's affected by it. So families, siblings, Karina has an amazing, amazing brother, Abhay, who um, helps her a lot and does a lot of her therapy with her. Um, and so it's really to help the community come together to learn from each other. You know, for me, Karina doesn't say a lot of words, mama, papa, hi, that you've all heard. Um, and. And so I want to have a resource to ask other families, 
you know, what are you doing to help? Um, how can the foundation help connect you to other people like us and share your story and, and be support? So, mm -hmm. you know, the first is to really fund research towards a treatment. And the second part is you can't fund research if you don't have the families together in a community. So you need both really to achieve this goal. And people to yeah. support yeah. because uh, let's be honest, research <laughs> or science, which bought paise bhi lagde na. So uh, there are great you know people out there who donate and who do great things. How can yeah. we help? How Thanks. can anybody? You know, <laughs> how how do people help? Well, thank you for asking. I think listening to our story um, and um, donating is really important. Our goal is to um, raise three million dollars um, by 2022. Um, we're uh, you know, making good a good dent in that effort, um, raising awareness, advocating for people that have a neurological disorder, um, and and the researchers and clinicians getting doctors to understand, you know, and connect with us. So, you know, education is really important. Educating the doctors, educating scientists, educating individuals, all of us, um, and other kids, um, you know, to have acceptance as well. So, you know, we have we, volunteers. We love volunteers. Right? Really? We How love. do people volunteer? Like, this is something I yeah. often talk to people about. Yeah. Bots are log jo, um, pay, like, as a psychiatrist, I bots are log aake, especially like, you know, aake this thing, ke si udasa, depressed, uh, you know, or even after the why, I tell them, ke, yeah. Look for a cause bigger than yourself. To see agar apne aapnu busy karoge ya kuch achhe kam vaste to see apna dimag lagaoge, te tano khushi andro aayegi kisi di help karke. So bina dastre ne ke volunteers bhi to see kar sakte ho. How? How do people help? Like just giving their time. <laughs> yeah, um, giving their time and their expertise. So you know, if you're a physician and you have a lot of other friends that are doctor friends. Um, there's a lot of ideas that I have that we can um, come together and do some wonderful things for the community. Um, if you know researchers or people that are doing some really great work in the laboratory that can help neurological disorders, that's helpful. There's things we're doing investing in technology and software, uh -huh. asking the right questions about the disease, right? Because if we don't, how can we learn if we don't ask the right questions? So just knowing which questions to ask is, requires a lot of effort and a team. Um, and right now, it's really me doing this mostly full time, um, and I need people to bring their expertise to us. Can people help through online format because mm -hmm. of COVID? People mm -hmm. who want to like give to the, you know, like help upload things or yes. or find more families or yeah. You know? There's so many ways. So for example, we have like this um, musician and an artist. They're sisters and they wanted to volunteer and they don't know us. They reached out through Instagram, um, we're on social media as Project 8P Foundation, and Hi. said, can we do something and do a Zoom call? Oh. And um, get families together and the kids and do a music class. And so that- You mentioned music therapy. Yeah, Tell us about that. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I think it's so helpful just day to day with her. Um, we, she can, sometimes she can't say the words, but if you sing a song and you leave the last word blank, she might fill it in. Wow. Yeah, right? Like no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Let me ask you this. What yeah. is Karina's favorite song? Oh gosh, what is Karina like? She loves pop music. Um, she loves a bunch of different bands, but anything that's trending. Basically. What about Bollywood? Karina likes Bollywood, actually. She likes a lot of like the, the good bass and the beats. Give um, me one that she likes. Anyway. Are you going to sing a Bollywood yes, song? Yes, <laughs> I will sing for Karina. You sing, you pick. You what do you pick. like, Karina? You like upbeat songs? Ba. 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 <laughs> Bollywood. She, she, she loves, you know, when she sees us dancing. She loves dance parties. So, really? So there's a lot of ways to help. And, you know, you can go to our website, um, and that's at project8p.org, and there's ways to join our cause. You just fill in a form. There's a way to donate, and we really appreciate it. We're doing a great campaign because it's chromosome 8P um, to raise $8 for eight months. Um, and, you know, every, every penny matters, and it's really about mm -hmm. us um, doing this together. So it's a team effort. Thank you, Karina. Karina, would you like a song? Can I sing you a song? <laughs> yes? Okay. 
I'm going to sing Karina a song because this show <laughs> is about singing and music and medicine. And healing. And healing. Yes. I'll sing you a Punjabi song. Is that cool? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, that was awesome. You're you so like that, sweet. Karina? Karina, you want to clap? Can you clap? You like that? So, yeah. you know, um, one more thing. I would like to say that my son is 4 years old. And when um, we schools love schools, daycares and all, a uh, school uh, my sister Nimanu Dasya, ke, you know, uh, there's a daycare called Jawanio that has uh, kids that are, you know, uh, no um, no disorders or mm -hmm. no delays or anything. But they also have kids, some kids in wheelchairs, some kids that have disorders or, you know, are, you know, speech impediments or whatever mm -hmm. it may be, right? And um, I, you know, my first question was, that that school which dono type de bachche ne but koi utthe kyon bhejega apne bachche nu koi normal school ch kyon nahi bhejega day care waste aide vich dono type of bachche ne so my sister who is a social worker said to me biba mere bete nu vi main ethe bhejangi because main chahndi ha ke mera beta vi sikhe aur sade bachche sikhan ke har bachcha like same hai we should love everyone the same there shouldn't be a difference agar kisi nu difference hai not ke oh these kids are you know mm -hmm. uh, there are some terms that people would use or you know say say oh no they're just you know disabled or something mm -hmm. but no I mean we should learn to live in a community and our Desi community needs to learn about that they do and I think you know everyone has like we call them like superpowers right so typically or traditionally um, it's hard for us to see that that lens and and say okay well well what's somebody like Karina's superpower but she she goes to a school with typical kids um, and there are some kids like her and she is their model Aww. they learn so much from her they learn about patients they learn how does she just sit up so nicely because you know all the other kids are like rolling around and can't focus at that age and and sh so they see her and they say look Karina she's such a good student and um, she's teaching kindness and she's teaching sharing of toys and she's teaching about hugs and so it's really um, we all have so much to learn from each other and and I think that Karina has uh, a very special superpower and there's so much for us to learn from her and I'm you know, I wonder what kind of person I would have been at this age if I didn't have her. Um, I love both of my children equally, but she's definitely, um, you know, just truly out of this world. So I'm, and, I'm grateful for it. And she's taught you so much, too. Oh, my gosh. Um, what would you tell parents who are watching? What's that one message you'd want to give them? Does it keep going? I feel um, if you ever think something isn't right, uh, Trust, trust your gut, follow your heart. Um, follow your heart even when it's scary um, because there's many other people that are in the same boat and there are people that are gonna help guide you and there are people like me who have been there that will help guide you. So, so follow, that, follow that heart, follow that intuition. Don't worry so much about society and the pressure. Um, because there's a whole beautiful society of people that are supportive and and I really do think that there there are answers there's a there is I know there's no cure that we know for this specific disorder but I know for a fact there are things in this world that will help improve whatever Karina Karina's choice wants to do so That's so awesome. yeah <laughs> thank you so much, Bina and Karina, for being on our show today. And thank you for watching Rhythm of Healing. Um, we will be, uh, the, the screen is showing the website and numbers and the ways to learn more about chromosome 8P. So thank you. Thank right. you so much, Biba. Bye.